New at 9, it's a hard goodbye. Loved ones of Talise Dunmore held a vigil for her in Milwaukee tonight. The 20-year-old was killed last Saturday in a hit and run that also injured her sister. Our Durante Matthews is here in studio now with a message her family is sharing tonight. Yes, Sam, tonight, Talise Dunmore's family publicly spoke for the first time since last weekend's fatal hit and run. Her mom fought back tears, begging drivers to slow down. She says her daughter should still be here. Listen to the tears. Tears from family. This is the pain that the family is suffering. Cries from friends. This is the pain of violence. Loved ones of 20-year-old Tilly's Dunmore showed up to send her off with a vigil Saturday. It's not fair to me as her mother. It's not fair to her father. For her mother, Martha Dunmore. It's not fair to her siblings that adore her. The pain is both unbelievable and unbearable. And I am so very grateful to still have my daughter, Delisha, yeah. because I could be burying two children. The sisters were together last Saturday when a driver hit both of them near 76th and Good Hope and took off. Talise died at the scene. Delisha was hospitalized and is now recovering in a cast. I am trying not to be angry. Angry at the accused and now charged driver Stephanie Sykes. Milwaukee prosecutors say the 34 year old was drunk and speeding when she hit the sisters and sped off. 80 miles an hour? Come on now. A record prompting the community to question why Sykes was even on the road. We shouldn't be here today. Loved ones say Talise wanted to travel the world. She was also a licensed nail technician wanting to open up her own full service salon. She had goals. She had drive. City leaders say they're pushing to cut down on reckless driving in the area, while community leaders are appealing to those drivers. Slow down. It's not worth taking a life. It's not worth losing your life. Or leaving another family heartbroken. Broken. And the family has created a GoFundMe to honor Talisa's memory and help with Delisha's recovery. We'll have that over on our website, fox6now.com. While Stephanie Sykes is in the Milwaukee County Jail on a $250,000 bond, she's due back in court next week. Sam. You can hear the pain in that mother's voice, Durante. Thanks.